Hi friends! Today we will learn comparing fractions in our daily life. So let's start. We know fractions are dividings of a whole. 1 by 2, 3 by 4, 5 by 6, 2 by 3, 8 by 12. All these are fraction numbers and they represent dividings of a whole. Now let's learn what are like fractions. 2 by 4, 3 by 4, 1 by 4, 4 by 4. All the fraction numbers that have same denominators are known as like fractions. And now, we are going to learn how to compare these like fractions. Your mom cooks a pizza and cut the pizza into four equal parts and she can either give you three-fourth pizza or two-fourth pizza. Now in which case you will get more pizza? Now, here comes a comparison of 3 by 4 and 2 by 4. We have to compare two portions of a pizza. 3 by 4 pizza or 2 by 4 pizza. Which portion of the pizza will be bigger? You can visually compare that 3 fourth pizza is bigger than 2 by 4th pizza. From this example, you also learn that if the denominators are same, you just need to compare the numerators for comparison. This is why 2 by 4 is smaller than 3 by 4. Here we have another example. Your mom cooks a pizza and cuts the pizza into 8 equal parts. And she will either give you 6 eighth pizza or 4 eighth pizza. Now, in which case you will get more pizza? This is 4 eighth portion of the pizza. Now again, you can visually compare that 6 eighth pizza is more than 4 eighth pizza. You can also notice that these are like fractions that is having same denominators. So, you just need to compare the numerators to compare the fractions. 4 is smaller than 6. So, 4 by 8 is smaller than 6 by 8. So, 4 eighths of the pizza will be smaller than 6 eighths of the same pizza. Now let's compare more like fractions in a quick fashion. 2 by 4 is greater than 1 by 4. 3 by 4 is greater than 2 by 4. 1 by 3 is less than 2 by 3. 7 by 8 is greater than 3 by 8. 3 by 8 is less than 5 by 8. 1 by 8 is less than 4 by 8. So all these are like fractions, that is, having the same denominator. And when we are comparing like fractions, we only compare numerators. Here we have more examples. 7 by 12 is greater than 2 by 12. 9 by 12 is greater than 7 by 12. 2 by 12 is greater than 1 by 12. 3 by 12 is less than 9 by 12. Now you know how we compare like fractions and why we only need to compare numerators while comparing like fractions. Now we will see comparing unlike fractions. Fractions Having different denominators are called as unlike fractions. 3 by 4 and 5 by 6, 1 by 2 and 3 by 4, 4 by 8 and 3 by 6. These are examples of pairs of unlike fractions because they are having different denominators. Now let's see how we can compare them. One child has been given three-fourths of a chocolate. 
and one child is given with four six of the same size chocolate. Now, who got more? Take the two fractions to be compared and multiply the denominator of the one with the numerator of the other, like this. Multiply six by three. Write the product here. Multiply four by four and write the product here. You get the bigger product, that is 18, on this side. That is three by four. So this fraction is bigger. Three by four is bigger than four by six. Here we have another example. We have two pizzas of the same size and we cut one into eight slices and the other one into six slices. Now, if we take two pieces from this pizza, that is two by eight, and we also take two pieces from this pizza, that is two by six, now, which fraction is bigger? Two by eight or two by six? Write the two fractions side by side and multiply the denominator of the one with the numerator of the other. Multiply six by two and you get 12 on this side. Multiply eight by two and you get 16 on this side. So we get a bigger number on this side. So two by six is bigger than two by eight. Now, let's compare some unlike fractions in a quick fashion. Comparing two by six and four by nine. Six multiplied by four is 24. Nine multiplied by two is 18. So we get a bigger number on this side. So four by nine is a bigger fraction. Now let's compare five by eight and seven by 12. Eight multiplied by seven equals 56. 12 multiplied by five equals 60. We get bigger number on this side. So five by eight is bigger fraction. Now let's compare one by four and one by six. 6 multiplied by 1 equals 6, and 4 multiplied by 1 equals 4. And 6 is bigger than 4, so 1 by 4 is a bigger fraction. Here we have another pair of unlike fractions, 4 by 12 and 6 by 9. 12 multiplied by 6 equals 72, and 9 multiplied by 4 equals 36. You got a bigger product on this side. So 6 by 9 is a bigger fraction out of these two unlike fractions. So friends, now we know how to compare unlike fractions. Now we will learn how to compare mixed fractions. Here we have some mixed fractions. 2, 1 by 3, 3, 2 by 3, 4, 5 by 6. They have a whole part and a fraction part. Now let's see how we can compare these. I have three chocolates. I have to distribute them between two children. So I will give one chocolate to each child and then we'll give a half chocolate to each child. So each child's share is one, one by two. So these are mixed fractions or mixed numbers. They are having a whole part, one, and a fraction part, one by two. And these mixed numbers are equal. They are having the same whole part as well as same fraction part. Now, let's have another example. Tia is having one whole chocolate and also a four-six chocolate. 
Sam is having one whole chocolate and also a two six chocolate. Now, who has a bigger share of chocolate? Here comes a comparison of mixed fractions. One child is having one four by six chocolate and the second child is having one two by six chocolate. For comparing mixed fractions, we first compare the whole parts. In our example, whole parts are equal. So, we will now compare the fraction parts. The fraction parts are having same denominators, so they are like fractions. And we know we compare only the numerators for comparing like fractions. So, 4 by 6 is bigger than 2 by 6. Hence, 1 4 by 6 is a bigger fraction. Now, let's compare more mixed fractions. Sam has two whole chocolates and one third chocolate also. Olivia has four whole chocolates and a two third chocolate also. Who got more chocolates? You can judge that the child with more number of whole chocolates has more chocolates. So, no need to compare the fraction part. So now we have learned for comparing mixed fractions or mixed numbers. We first compare the whole parts, and if whole parts are same, then only we compare the fraction portions. Now let's have some more comparisons. Which of the following mixed number is bigger? The one with the bigger whole number. So this mixed fraction is bigger. Now, which of these mixed fractions is bigger? Again, the fraction with a bigger whole number should be bigger. The whole parts are same here. So, we will be comparing the fraction portions. 1 by 3, 2 by 3. These are like fractions. So we will just compare the numerators for comparing these fractions. 2 is bigger than 1, so 2 by 3 is bigger than 1 by 3. So this mixed number is a bigger number. Now which of these mixed numbers is bigger? 4, 2 by 6, 4, 4 by 9. Again, the whole parts are same. So we will compare the fraction portions, but the fraction portions are unlike fractions. Both are having different denominator. So, we have already learnt how to compare unlike fractions. We will multiply the numerator of the one with the denominator of the other, like this. 6 multiplied by 4 is 24. And 9 multiplied by 2 is 18. And we get a bigger product on this side. So, this fraction, 4 by 9, is bigger. So, this mixed number with this fraction portion is a bigger number. So friends, now we have also learned how to compare mixed fractions. Now you may go ahead and take a quiz to learn more. Bye-bye! Tootway has thousands of animated videos on math, English, and science to clear the core basics of these subjects.